Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so for today's episode, I got a few things to show you. And we'll start off with the Villager Breeding Center. So I did uh, some trading, actually, I'll show you this. I got a whole bunch of collection of chests out here now, it's like crazy. Um, I did get a Fortune 3 book, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I scored some emeralds, and I got a bunch of books, and gold, and all kinds of good stuff. Alright, so let's go and see what we got here now. Um, I killed three librarians. I um, still haven't played with the priests yet. Ugh, that kind of sounds bad. Um, <laughs> I guess we could, because then I could upgrade these ones, guys, next. Alright, so maybe if I have time later in the rest of the episode, we'll do a little bit of trading at the end. So this guy here, he's got um, iron chest plate for 11 emeralds. And then this guy here's got a pick for 10 emeralds. Diamond pick. And this one has a diamond chest plate for 18 emeralds, which seems kind of expensive, so you might die. Uh, that's the one we have with the book, so I got it up to paper now, so I'll end up doing some paper uh, to get some emeralds, and this guy here had uh, some raw beef, so yeah, that's that, and then all those three right here, they're all um, experience potions, so that could come in pretty good handy later on. Alright, so let's go show you what I did on the inside here first. Go show you that I applied my little fix for my water thingamabobber. <laughs> a water thingamabobber. It's pretty horrible. Um, my 3 1 farm. Where is. I don't have any wheat seeds. Seriously? Come on. I thought I had some here. What the heck did I do with them? Huh, oh, there they are, right at the top. Look at that. Uh, I don't have any bone meal though. I didn't see any, but that's okay. It'll still kind of work without it, because we'll trick it. Alright, so, um, as you see, there's no more water here. Just like I did on my, my thing there. Actually, I classify this as an update too. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that works pretty good. And as you see, it's right down here. I moved it from right here. Actually, it was right here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, I can lock all this up now. Unless I still don't have... Oh, yeah. I must have used that wood. So that's birch wood. I'll have to come back and replace that. Alright, I'll come and fix that later. But um, let's go have a look over here over at my mining system. I fixed that too. That was a uh, a little bit trickier because when I did it in my spider in my in my spire my creative world, uh, I didn't have these lights installed, so it made things a little bit more difficult to do. So if I take this block out Ah, and I got you this time. Alright, so what I changed here as I got rid of the repeater that was here, I uh, added a four tick delay to this one because it was only a single tick. Then over here, I gave this one another tick because it was only on two, so I put it on three. Then here, I kind of make like a pulse limiter thing about Bobber. I don't know, it seems to make it work, so. <laughs> Um, a repeater into this block with a torch, same that, a torch, and these are just two pieces of redstone, so it gets kind of like a, uh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen, but anyways, it gets like an off signal, <laughs> and this actually works now too, so I got a minecart down here waiting, ready to go, so that's pretty cool. Now, be oh, I got a minecart on me. I'm going to bounce off of the top one, though. It's okay. If I time this right, I can do it. Alright. And now. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Awesome. I can't believe I did that. I did that the last time I was recording this video as well. <laughs> and I knew I wasn't going to die. That's why I wasn't freaking out. Um... 
Alright, so avoiding the hole. Yeah, it goes into there and kind of like puts it on an off state. Um, it's kind of weird. I think it's more like a pulse limiter though, but it works. Works pretty good. So we'll put that back there and that back there. So that works. I'll start using that soon. I added some signs. Um, as you can see, I got them ready from where I'm going to be uh, coloring them. So they're going to have different colored signs, and it tells you exactly what each one of these things do. So that's pretty cool. So that's a nice little added feature. Home improvement style. All right. Um, I also, if I'm not mistaken, I did fix this up here so I put all my walls in here and I finished the flooring and I got the uh, middle uh, slowly ready to make my pillar up and join the rest of it I did the same thing over here as well and it's ready to be extended up so I gotta designate some time for that um, yeah I showed you that already Duh. <clears throat> so now we're going to go work on the cow farm because uh, food's running scarce, everything's running scarce. Um, I did get more redstone from my mine, so I'm happy with that. So now we're going to go and destroy what I want to destroy here, and I'll explain at the same time what I'm going to be doing. Now you guys, you guys got to be quiet, okay? I don't think that's going to happen. Alright, so this platform's going to stay. This is going to go. And then we can get rid of all of this. All of you are probably thinking, what are you doing? Well, because we're in the TU-15 now, we have... Oh, I'll have to go get some more. It's no big deal. We have some new things that we can do. Um, we got... Uh, hooks and tripwire. <laughs> I don't know, it was just like, uh, duh. Um, yeah, we got some tripwire and hooks, so now that's going to help a lot in this in particular build. So, now we'll be able to change how the cows are, um, <clears throat> excuse me, are uh, separated from the babies and while well, the babies are separated from the mothers and fathers or whatever. You know, in this game, it's probably two males. Um, actually, cows are females, so yeah, they're lesbians. Right on. Okay. Um, got gay men and lesbian animals. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what these people had in mind when they made this game, but it's cool, it's cool. I can deal with this. Alright, so this part of the system is gone as well. That, 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 uh, that, that, that's all gone. And that's for there. Uh, that can be gone too. I'll disappear you for now. Where did you go? Thank you. Oh, look at that. Water. Or, block. <laughs> Alright, so, the cows are gonna come in and this is going to have to go back to and that's definitely going to have to go down I'll fix that up afterwards so let's make ourselves some room here because the cows are going to need some room and this build is going to need a little bit of room uh, if I'm not mistaken it has to go down another level as well so here we go, we'll do it like this get rid of all this junk and then we'll figure out how we're gonna do this. I got it. I got it pretty much all done. The idea in mind, um, which is pretty neat. If you've ever watched a Zoomavoid, and I hope you people have watched a Zoomavoid because he's got some really good animal breeding machines. So by using the latest version of that, I guess it was like 1.3, he incorporated um, a tripwire and a painting, and apparently he said he got that from like Doc M, so I guess credit goes to like, you know, him and Doc M for this little breeding uh, idea. So this should be good. So now your babies are going to fall down here, into here. Um, 
cows are going to have to come out here, so this is probably going to have to go back. Like I said, I might just be mining out more than what I need to, but it gives me some working room, and working room is always nice. Alright. Perfect. So now your cows are going to come out here, and they're both going to drop. And they'll drop uh, on top of a painting. And what that's going to do is it's going to hold them on the minecart. And then when you breed them, the baby will fall through the minecart because there's not an actual block underneath it. And when it falls far enough down, it should trip a trip wire and then fall into a water source. And we'll carry it on to this little tunnel over here. So. That's going to be my little plan. So I'm going to go get all the resources I need for this, and I'll be right back, and then we'll build it together. So see you in a few minutes. Well, seconds for you. Alright, so we've come across a little bit of an impasse here. As you can see, cows are still coming under the carts, and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> this really sucks. Uh, I'm tired of all these bugs and crap so eventually I'm gonna have to come back and fix this all up but the system actually works now except for the cows um, glitching out and I don't know why because only half of them glitched out and these other half still seem to be still in their respective spots so you know, they're all just like looking at me and they're still in their carts but the other ones on the other side are not and I don't know why. It's pretty frustrating, honestly. It really is frustrating. So you look, and some of them glitched out, and I think they glitch out right into here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess I'll continue this for another day. Um, just because this is all glitched out, and I don't feel like it. Um, <laughs> it's really disappointing, you know, considering, you know, all the cows are all the way out here already, and I just walked around, so I really don't know what to do anymore with this cow farm. <laughs> I'm going to leave it as is until 4J fixes their game, because it's starting to really piss me off. So, um, so I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, we're going to say that I have two successful fixes and one fail, so that's, I think, is going to be the title of this, uh, <laughs> of this friggin ah, episode makes me so mad makes me so 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 mad uh, anyways hope you liked the video everybody and uh, next time where I'm gonna have the ice farm done uh, and I'm also gonna have uh, hopefully the water the nether not the nether the end watered water see I did that again eh I'm going to have Ivan commenting again. Um, <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, we're going to have the end watered. Um, I might have a friend come over and help me do that. Uh, somebody has offered to help me, so we'll see how that works out. And uh, if I get a chance later on, well, hopefully um, I'll have my little visitor and maybe I'll do some little video on it there too and showing us uh, the big job that we have at hand and what we've done so far. So that's it everybody, as the sun sets and my cows wander all over the place, I bid you adieu until the next time. Peace.